Hey everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. I have a video that you guys always request for you today and it is a get ready with me. If you wanna see this look, this really easy, very just natural, everyday wearable makeup, then keep watching because I'm gonna show you every step to get this face. This is a very normal, what I look like everyday face. This is also kind of similar to what you would do on a campaign, honestly, for a photo shoot. Just really, except for you would use more basically all cream products instead of like any powder products. So um, yeah, but if anyway, if you're into that, keep watching. The other thing is that I really want you guys to stay through the whole video because at the very end, I give my one of my best tips for how to make your natural lashes look thick, full and dark. So if you are in, like me on the lash struggle bus and you don't want to wear falsies and you don't want to get lash extensions then keep watching all the way into that video to, or to end of the video for that great tip and then it is time for me to do a Q&A video there are so many of you that are new and it's been a long time since I've done any sort of Q&A so I need you to go ahead and in the comments section down below, leave all those cues that you have so I can give you a whole bunch of A's. Um, I hope to film a Q&A video uh, next week. So you have a couple days to watch this, leave a question, uh, and then answers are coming your way. So anything you're curious about, anything you want to know, I mean, I'm a relatively open book. So leave those questions and then again, catch up on some other a glittery life content that's been coming out uh the best way that you can always make sure that you are getting the content from this channel is by thumbs upping videos in fact thumbs up this video right now because it's a get ready with me that i never do and you always want them and then uh leaving comments watching through the like watching the video all that kind of stuff will make sure that and then once you're done watching this video catch up on some recent content i've been cranking out content stuff that you like stuff that I like, so let's all meet in the middle and just watch it all. Since I am your most favorite YouTuber ever, your favorite person on the interwebs, right? Anyway, enough about that, but for this, how to do this full face of makeup, this get ready with me, keep watching. To actually start with my Tatcha primer. This is the Silk Canvas uh, Filter Finish Primer. Oh, and it is not, you're not gonna be able to see, but I am almost to the Oops, just saw it, just hit pan in this one spot. So how I apply this, cause you only need the amount of a grain of rice. I put my finger in and I just pick up a little bit and then I just, I'm gonna just rub it on my face, especially where I wanna fill in and where I kind of need some blurring. So for me, that's around in here where I have these beautiful pores from all those nights in my 20s when I didn't wash my face. And then all those nights in my early 30s when I thought using a face wipe was suitable. Shocker, it's not. So I just get a little bit on. I don't go crazy with this. I just want to kind of feel a little bit of like slip as I'm putting it on. If I feel like it's wet or if I feel like I can't rub it in, uh, that's a good indicator that I've used a little bit too much. I'm going to put a little right here just because I've got some texture going on right there so already I feel like this makes a huge difference in my skin but it also becomes a really nice base let's get some of this hair out of here right whoa no that looks terrible on camera with no hair I already have wonky bangs right now I mean like just I don't know guys I never film these I don't know I just can't right now with myself um, I am going to use the foundation brush. Ooh, duh. This one's clean. I'm so excited. This is the base one from Sonia G. You guys want a video recommendation or you want my thoughts on her um, brushes? My thoughts are they're phenomenal. You can't go wrong. There's not a single brush that's terrible. There's not a single brush that's, that's not worth it. There's not a single brush that I don't like. That's my review on Sonia G. So yes, buy the brushes. I will do you a favor and link the ones that I use the most down below though, because there is some that I use a lot. Uh, this is Giorgio Marni Maestro. This is uh, Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation. This is my favorite like everyday foundation co um, combo. And I like just putting a little bit, it's the right shade for me, 
but I like putting just a little bit of the Giorgio Armani in it um, just to get, I'm going to mix it with my little spatula right here. I think it adds a glow to my skin. It doesn't really make me tan, but it adds a really pretty glow. And, you know, real fancy, just slapping this on. I mean, it works, right? You could use your finger or you could use this little spatula. I might as well just use this little spatula. And this is more of a like sheer to medium, no, I'm sorry, medium buildable foundation. And so I'm going to go in with my brush and stipple before I blend because I'm going to spread it all around. And now I'm in a buff. And that's how I apply my foundation with the Sonia G Base One brush. I love that brush. Um, okay, so I'm going to use the Hourglass uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. You guys, if you haven't watched my best of 2018, this is basically a get ready with me with my favorites of 2018 um, because these are my favorites. And I'm going to come in with a brush that needs to be washed this weekend. This is the Smith 154 and I love it for precision powdering because I really am just going to powder where I would get oily. I don't want to powder everywhere. I don't need it. Especially here in the winter. It's so dry right now. And I'm just like not even, it's, you know, no, mu no must, no fuss. Um, I'm going to come in with Tantastic from Marc Jacobs. Next year when this comes back out, it's, it's always like just so, you know, like they li limit it or whatever. Get it. And I'm going to just, I'm not contouring with this. I'm warming my cheeks. So I'm barely putting any on and I'm doing it more of a straight motion from right here to the, like, the like little cheek pocket above my mouth, just kind of straight across. A little bit up where I'm gonna put my blush, but I'm just using this to like, give me a little bit of a like bronzy glow, kind of like over the top of the nose where the sun would normally hit. And I'm gonna take it into my hairline as well. And I like it a little bit under the chin. I think if you have a round face like me and a double chin, Doing a little bit of bronzer around the neck is going to help your uh, sculpting line blend really well. I, this is my like default like contour sculpting. This is just the It Cosmetics You Sculpted. You can see that it's my default because it's got some pan action in it. Um, it's so gratifying. Don't you find that it is so gratifying when you hit pan? I'm looking for my Wayne Goss airbrush. This is my Wayne Goss airbrush. I have several of them including the rose gold. I'm going to just pick up a couple different colors of that. And then I'm going to just come up right here in this little pocket and really lightly, I'm going to give myself a cheekbone lift right here. And I am just feathering this product in there so that it's like really well blend, like blended really well. And then I'm gonna just come under the chin. My face is really puffy this morning. I don't know why, I've, I'm a little bit on the struggle bus today. I'm surprised that I'm even filming. This is because I can and I'm home today. So I wanna film, but I really just am struggle busing it today, guys. I still have my pajama bottoms on. And then I'm gonna go to the same do the same motion on this side of the cheek. Do you see that I've turned to the brush? So I'm using it more like a paintbrush. And you notice that I don't choke the handle of my brush. I'm giving it lots of like room to get a good blend. Like, so it's like a feathery motion, right? If you put your, if you put your makeup on like this, like a pencil, you're gonna get too much makeup on, too much product. I'm gonna go down this sides of my neck a little bit just nothing dramatic I don't want to look like I have a streaky neck or anything and then I'm going to contour under my bottom lip and I'm going to take off the end of my chin 
if you have small lips, uh, the on, under the bottom lip is a great trick. And then I'm going to just light, really light touch, kind of sculpt out around my nose. But the worst thing I think is when you can see somebody's contour on their nose. That's like the most tragic makeup mistake. I think one of the most tragic makeup mistakes I think you can make. And because I realized I had not used the By Terry Sun Designer palette in Happy Sun in so long, I busted it out and am using that. That's what I'm going to do my cheeks with. I know um, you guys are surprised that I'm not using my favorite Natasha blush, but I really just kind of want to come in with this like nude, beautiful nude here on the bottom of this palette and just rosy these cheeks up a little bit. I could have used this for my bronzer too. And then I love the highlight of the this one. So that is what I'm going to come in with really just grabbing the top of that and then a tiny little bit of that like bronzer section and just coming in with this like super glow. And I can see on camera this is coming across really heavy. Um, so I'm going to just kind of like knock everything down a little bit. I don't think in person that it's that heavy, but I could see how it was coming across in this lighting. Uh, and then I'm going to take a little bit of highlight and just do right here on the nose. Never would I ever put highlight on the tip of my nose. That's a an unusual preference if you want to do that you can it just know that when you do that it actually makes your nose look very bulbous so but a great place to highlight is the cupid's bow and you could switch to a smaller brush but so pretty so that's basically my face, like how I like to do my face. Um, and then what, what I would do next, what I normally do next is get these tragically um, in between stage bangs out of the way. And I'm gonna brush my brows. And what I really like to brush my brows with, it's a good thing this weekend is eye mats because I broke my Smith um, brow brush. And I don't wanna take the ones out of my kit because I use those all the time. So I need to get a new brow brush. But br brushing your brows up is one of the most important things that you can do. You really need to find that shape. This is the, the It Cosmetics Brow Power Super Skinny. I'm out of my Dior one that I like. And uh, this one's going out. They're canceling these or discontinuing these. So I'm just trying to use it up so that I don't keep talking about it because I'm kind of bummed about it. And I realize I'm like talking to the mirror right now and not you, but I just have to like focus on these brows. I'm just doing really light feathery strokes. Just giving this a real slow fill and a real soft fill. Now I'm going to just come down to where I want it to like end, where I want my tail to be. You guys know I like a much like softer, more natural brow. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. And a little bit more straight today, a little bit less um, of that arch, which is hard to get rid of, but I love that straight brow. So that's just a really simple kind of like no muss, no fuss brow. And I'll, honestly, it's really, my brows only show right when my bangs just kind of like detach from themselves and split across. So, so there we go. Brows on. That's always nice. Always kind of like finishes. And especially if you can see your brows, it definitely is important. Uh, it really does kind of frame the face. Uh, I'm going to put my favorite little Sephora chopstick on right now. This is their Coca Coconuts or Nuts for Coconuts or whatever. This is, nope, just Coconut Lip Balm. <laughs> 
it doesn't have a weird name it's just coconut lip balm and um if i had time which for the sake of this video i can certainly act like i do have time because i do have time today but um i might do an eye look or if i'm more in a hurry what i will do is hold please so on days that i'm in a hurry and that I don't have time to do like a full eye look, I will use either something like the Tom Ford, this is the um, cream and powder eye color, Golden Peach, and it has a cream and then the top is a powder. This is a really beautiful eye look that I love doing. Or sometimes I'll use these MAC ones that I've had forever, Super Watt and Gilded Throw. These are the Electric Cool eyeshadows. Um, and they're just like a really nice, this is a beautiful like taupey, just, champagne -y, uh cream shade and then this one has more of that like peachy rosy gold which i love especially with blue eyes or my favorite like standby products are these charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize this is bet um and it's just a, a gold piece, but like not a crazy gold not a gilded gold and then this is marie antoinette which is uh one that i default to a lot in fact let's just do marie antoinette today we're gonna just pick up a little bit of this and I, I don't even usually prime my eyes when I'm using these. Just gonna put them on. Like just so basically just doing a wash of color. This is like, if you have to like work really early or if you do like shift work or if you have, if you are getting a bunch of kids or even just one child off to work, oh, I don't know how you do it, God bless you getting off to school and while you're going to off to work these are such a good just fast something to give your eye a little bit of um color and the eyelid a little color and shape and and just gives you something if you want to feel a little bit more pulled together so and then i think just for the fun of it i'm going to take the tom ford and i'm going to take the powder with my finger and just pop a little bit of this because it's a little bit sparkle. It's got a nice little sparkle to it. And, oh, this had so much fallout today. I think I must have touched my under eye right there. That's, there we go. I'll be a little sparkly under the, in that corner. <coughs> Whatever. So then what I would do is get my eyelash curler out, especially if I'm not going to do like a big eye look, curl those lashes. Now my lashes don't curl very well. This is the Kevin Aquan, or is this my Shiseido? This is the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler, which is better for the shape of eyes. So I'm gonna just put my eyelash curler on and then I'm gonna bend it up, right? That's how you cur use a lash curler. You don't just sit here and pinch. You pinch and then flip. So you pinch and bend or whatever, pull it up a little bit. Um, and then that just gives them a little bit of curl. I think I have a little bit of mascara left on from last night, so that's not ideal when curling lashes. But so pinch, lift. How freaky does that feel or seem to you guys? Um, and like this guy's just not even curling. They really don't curl, but it does kind of help to open your eyes up a little bit. Or you can tight line. Um, maybe I'll show you that right now too, because if you're in a hurry and you want to really define the eye a little bit, some tight lining is a great fast option. So that guy's not going to curl anymore. So I'm going to grab a liner and I'm going to just grab the Charlotte Tilbury Verushka Mink Rock and Coal. Oh, that is like clearly been used because it needs to be sharpened. So maybe I'm going to instead, oh, no, that's really the one I want. I guess I, yeah, I'm going to sharpen this one. Hold on. So I gave, oh, oh my gosh, geez, Louise is crashing. Okay. So I gave this a little bit of a sharpen, not too sharp though. And then I'm basically going to just look up and I'm going to take this pencil and I'm going to color underneath my lash line. So this does not take any real estate on my lid. It's just deepening that lash line because it's basically inside your eye. So I'm going to zoom in right here to see if you can see the difference.
makes a big difference. This is what we do on photo shoots. Rarely, rarely will you ever see me use eyeliner above the lash line on a photo shoot or anything like that. It's always gonna be a tight line. And I love these Charlotte Tilbury ones, but if you have like really watery eyes, I would suggest the Marc Jacobs because they're gonna give you the best, um, it's like st they're waterproof, so they'll stay better. And then I'm trying to think what other ones are waterproof that I really like. Mm, I think the Urban Decay 24-7 ones are pretty good. I'm using my It Cosmetics Superhero. And I'm gonna really just focus this at the base of my lashes, flipping up. Like, just kind of like, does that make sense? Like, I'm not, I'm not like trying to s swoop the whole thing. I'm just getting a lot of this mascara at the base, right, kind of where I tight lined. That's gonna make my lashes look a lot fuller. So the combination of the tight lining and putting your mascara like really thick at the base of your lashes is gonna give you a really defined eye and it's gonna make your eyelashes look much more dramatic than they probably really are. Like mine are very unimpressive on their own. They are not dramatic. They are nothing to write home about, but the combination is really how you get like a good full natural looking lash, like how you cheat that. And I don't love to wear like a lot of lip products, especially if I'm doing like a really basic, easy, quick, like fresh faced makeup. But I am gonna take my Natasha Denona lip liner pencil. This is L2. I love this shade. And I'm gonna just, I've got that chapstick on. I'm gonna just give my lips a little bit of color and definition, even though this is a very, like, your lips but better. If you're looking for the perfect your lips but better lip liner, this one's a must have. And I took these off the gondola at Sephora, so I think you can get them online. I'll, I'll link them on Beautylish or wherever they're still available. And then I might just take my little Tom Ford. This is my favorite, one of my favorite lip products, Glimmer, and just put a little bit on and pull it together. And this would be my, this is like a very normal, common Trisha everyday makeup look. So I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.